Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Nerd, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where last time we did a bit more exploration around Monarch and got to know some of the Iconoclasts over here. We did a few little chores for them, slowly building up a bit of a reputation, and I would say now it's time to meet their leaders, because I get the feeling they're not getting on. Zora, the doctor and also military commander, and Graham, who basically just treats free will like it's a really weird religion. I think I'm going to get on with Zora a bit more, so let's start off with her. Never mind, she's not in the first aid area over here, so... Okay, we do ever have current patients. So, Ezekiel, Manti infested, that does not sound fun. That doesn't sound fun at all. Fractured ankle, multiple bullet wounds, acid burns, yeah. These guys are most definitely taking casualties, but then again... This is not a fun planet. There's a lot of bad stuff here. It's not too surprising. Right. I'm guessing they're going to be having a script and argument just as I happen to walk in. By any chance, guns away. By any chance, is that what's going on here? A Manta Queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Alright, so they've just had an expedition where some people have died. Something about ruins, diddly diddly dee. Right, Zora. I'm getting your take on things first. Nice day, huh? The monarch, anyway. Or not, maybe we'll get back to you later. Hello, Graham. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk... You've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Alright, so we've pretty much well established that, yeah, your belief system is basically just that people have free will. But go on, let's hear the pretentious version where it's been put through a zealot filter. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Honestly, I was just wondering if you had any jobs for me, because generally when I run into town, people want to give me quests pretty much immediately. So, uh, yeah, tell me about your people. Let's start off with that. The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. I mean, it's being phrased as if he's a mad zealot, but he's not wrong. He's very, very much not wrong. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's technically your fault this whole planet's been cordoned off. Well, not entirely, but... You're definitely a part of it. Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. Yeah, there's another mention of a gunship there. I'm definitely feeling like we're taking on a gunship boss sooner or later. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? And yeah, Eternal. We keep hearing Eternal mentions. Ah, the Eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the Eternal is that divinity. Okay, or we could just not be part of the corporate machine, but also not believe any of that. This here, this is why I'm going to be backing Zora instead of you. And yeah, here we go, here's a fun one. How are you going to answer the question, the OSI, are they divine? Everyone, 
regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Okay, so inside this belief system, is there a creator or anything? Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Okay, if you just skipped that last sentence, that would have all sounded very reasonable to me, but yeah, you're definitely taking things a little bit on the... the far side. Okay, and the final one, Awakening. The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. Okay, hang on. Why are we saying that Sanjar is evil? Because Sanjar isn't evil. Because Sanjar is, well... Okay, I don't trust him 100%, but he seems much, much, much better than anyone else we've run into. Like, it's a good balance of decent living conditions for everybody, but also a decent level of freedom. But yeah, what exactly do you mean by betray? I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another is that misfortune often brings opportunity. I found my path through the tragedies of my past. No, he's not willing to be specific there, fine. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll ask Sanjar about that next time we're in Stella Bay. Okay, let's move on to me doing jobs for ya. A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Okay, so, yeah, we've seen that. It's, uh, just north of Cascadia. So, uh... Why that, though? Wouldn't you want, like, say, I don't know, supplies? Because your society seems a little bit ramshackle and threadbare at the minute. Yes. We will make do, as we always have. Spreading the word of our movement is of paramount importance. Will you aid us in our cause? Ah, yes, of course. We saw this at the front door when we first came in. They're out of pamphlets. So, uh, he doesn't want more food or supplies. Uh, he just wants pamphlets because he is very much just a preacher. Right, so I'm gonna say yes, but then I'm going straight over to Zora to see if she's got something better for me to do. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Okay, sure. So who in MSI is working with you? Because I thought you two weren't really talking right now. One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Okay, so these societies aren't at war, they're just not really that friendly. Where do I find Carlotta? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Yep, been there, cleared it out, no problem at all. And yes, just in case you don't know, I was the one that rescued Huxley. So you're her mysterious saviour. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... Tone deaf. Oh, bless her. I like Hux more now I've heard that. Right, I'll be off then. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money... Would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. 
Right, so we'll be doing that. Yes, food and medicine. Gotcha. So, anything else from either of you? Aha, in the room next door in a terminal, a bit more detail about the relationship between Graham and Sanjar. So, uh, they used to be friends, and they both used to want to dismantle the board. And when he talks about betrayal, all he means is that Sanjar took over the company at the point when the corporation actually pulled out. Though, uh, really, Sanjar just did that because... Uh, there was no one else left. He sort of did it by default. Sanjar's now trying to bring down the system from within, slowly, peacefully, potentially without violence. Meanwhile, Graham's trying to do it from the outside with, yeah, guns and propaganda. So that was the betrayal. It was just that Sanjar chose to take over Stella Bay, though he has improved a lot of the workers there. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that Graham has definitely got a bit overboard here. Quite a lot, in fact. Like the board, he now stands across our path, her arms crossed, stubbornly resistant to the eternal truth. Like the board, he spreads, nay celebrates, the poison that cripples our society. Yeah, it kind of feels like actually, Graham's less annoyed about the particular state of the workers, and more annoyed that Sanjar hasn't bought into his particular understanding of religion. So, yeah. Not liking Graham, but liking the basic belief system that his religion is built on. A note on his terminal about Zora that's pretty revealing. She often tells me our people are hungry. I agree. Their spirits long for fulfillment, a much more powerful power than any pang of an empty gut. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a chance to make some changes around here. Like, say, Zora's in charge and Graham's not anymore. Right, over the road, let's catch up with Zora, see if she's got anything to say now. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. So as you were saying, yeah, printing press shouldn't really be highest priority if you guys don't have the food and medicine you need. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful, that's rare around these parts and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. Okay, so she doesn't actually have anything to add on, she's just supporting that idea, and yeah, you're a doctor, I hear. Yeah, name's Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet, if I can. And yeah, just based on the beds and notes, it feels like people are getting injured a lot. You joking? It's Monarch. Can't set foot outside without being attacked by a beast or a marauder. You know what? Fair enough. And, uh, yeah, the ruins. I overheard you mentioning the ruins at the beginning. The Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere. And I guess the gunfire attracted raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. You found a queen that far north? Wish I'd been there. You and me both, Nyoka. We could've used the help. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Okay, I actually happen to be good with medicine. Any chance I can help with that? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Alright, so Bronson was one I already did last time, so that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, nothing I can do with uh, these folks as far as I can tell. They're just, no, do not pull guns on them. So, okay, just leave her to that. Seems like I can't really do anything there. So, uh, I guess we just get on with, yeah, the printing press business. But, we need to first actually head back to Stella Bay to pick up the parts. And while we're there, make sure we get ourselves some food. Oh no, hang on, sorry, we're not going to Stella Bay. She bought it from Stella Bay, but the handoff happens over here at the warehouse. Here we go, someone called Niles is here now. But, that's not Carlotta. What's a Niles? Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Okay, what's going on here precisely? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I feel like you're not. What's wrong with this generator? I'm very good at engineering. What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted. Pumping out gas. It ain't safe. And yeah, why are you just standing here not fixing it? Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that, boss. Hope to say in my performance review. Alright, you're being a bit of a dick right now, and I'm hoping I'm able to talk you round. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why's that now? 
because I am very, very good at speech. So, uh, yeah, you're here for Carlotta, I get it. I'll offer, you get paid, uh, we all go home. Oh, that's, that's not great. What if I lie about a Mantis Swarm infestation? That might get you running. Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. Yeah, that was definitely the better option there. So, uh, they are now naffing off. Lovely. And, aha, they've literally taken the door off that was sealed previously. Good, good, good. Unless, of course, ah, no, they haven't. But now, Carlotta will answer the door. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? All right, so, sublight's gone. I'm here for the parts. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you, anyway? I'm the guy that came and said hello yesterday, but you didn't bother answering. So, I feel like you brought that solitude on yourself, to be honest. Oh, for finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Okay, so Sanjar's refusing to trade, but Sanjar definitely owes me a favour. Maybe we can get that stock taken care of. And hello there, Carlotta. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. And yeah, I need to either get extra supplies or extra print something or another or us. And yeah, Sanjar, that's unfortunate. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Okay, I'll go and do that myself in that case. That's absolutely fine. And uh, any ideas where supplies might be coming from if Stella Bay's not willing to play ball? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Aha, definitely food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Good point. There's what's-her-face Catherine over at Fallbrook. Presumably, they just need to start trading with them. And apparently the game wants me to just go straight back to Graham at this point. I would have thought we'd go over to, you know, the printing press, because I know where that is. But I'm guessing most people wouldn't have been there yet, because most people just land straight in Stella Bay by paying Gladys for the key. So, okay, I'm guessing that's the follow-up mission in that case. I'm telling you the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. I'm guessing you just sent these Van Noys off on some stupid mission, in fact, aha. I'm guessing they're gonna already be at the printing press and probably already dead. And uh, sorry about this, but the rest of the account went to food and medicine. Before we get to that though, yeah, Van Noys. They're hunters, badass ones at that. Hope they're all right. They're our best unit and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. Okay, he doesn't really want to talk about that. So yeah, rollers, but food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Yeah, bad news about that. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Ah, so they consider cutting the supply line as an act of war. That's not good, because Sanja was very open about the fact his society's not desperately well defended, and these guys have got plenty of hunters and big guns. If they wanted to, they could probably wipe Stella Bay off the map. 
So yeah, I'm guessing we're going to the printing press now. The print... Oh no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Is a printing press really worth all these people's lives? There's gotta be a better way to get your message out. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. You know, phrases he did to the beginning there, it does make at least a bit of sense that if you can use the printing press to recruit new followers, uh, then yeah, it might be worth it. Though I do agree, if your people were actively getting killed, uh, they should have been there and gone to the press afterwards. Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Okay, so we can fast travel straight to the printer. But on the way, me and Sanjar have a very, very good relationship. So I'm wondering if I can use that to get the block taken off before this escalates too much further. Nope, tragically, no new speech options, so I'm guessing we'll be coming back and chatting to him later about all of this. Also, thing I keep forgetting to do. So, when I need to do repairs, I should always put the welder's goggles on first, because engineering plus 15 for me is doubled up to engineering plus 30. That gets my engineering up to 93, and engineering means you need less armor and weapon parts for maintenance. So now if I wanted to repair literally everything I'm wearing, that would cost me 27 weapon parts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, I think we've just arrived and there are problems here. By the way, who are you? Uh, ah, the Van Noys. Right, well let's keep them alive. So boom and boom and boom and yes, draw all the fire over here. You guys can just take a bunch of N-ray damage. And they seem to be okay. Good. So they're not dead for the time being. The Van Noys are still alive for the minute. How are you guys doing, by the way? Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Very happy to help, and yeah, from the way Graham said it, you would have thought they actually volunteered for this mission, but no, they most definitely think it's a bit of a waste of time. And yes indeed, Zora sent me to look for you guys, so let's sort this out, get you out safe, then we'll see what's going on. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But, we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Alright, I will very gladly go and find him, but I might be able to sort that out for myself with my medical skills, so... Uh, any idea where he is? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Oh, I remember that area. That area was not fun. Here we go, these two guys. So, uh, any chance I can fix you myself? Nope, nothing we can do there. So, alright, we'll just swing round and take care of that business. But, watch out for trouble on the way. Like, say, yeah, Rapstone Mauler. Now, got myself a new gun here. So, all we need to do is fully charge that thing. And, okay, the travel time's a bit slower. But, it is very, very powerful indeed. And, no, hold still. Or just, like, emerge the other side or something. And where are you? There you are. And boom. Oh yeah, that's... That's 3,700 damage. That's... That's pretty good. I'd say that's... That's doing a good job right there. And apparently I've started using my inhaler so much, I've got addicted to it. But of course I can turn that down. It's a standard floor. So, okay. If I'm not using drugs, 
then I start suffering. No, that's that's not a good idea. I will reject that one. I think I'm fine not being addicted to drugs and oh. Hello over there. We've got a wrapped on Colossus, but anyone else? No, I think that's your that's your lot. So oh hang on, there might be another tiny one right there. So just charge this gun up and fire. And now begin charging again. And oh my! Oh, flipping my. Yeah, that'll do that. Oh, there were... Okay, there were actually several. Uh, but luckily, luckily, I've got this old girl right now, which is absolutely fine. Keep doing the little bit of healing right there. Okay, now... Oh, no, no. I'm just going to dodge that with my slow-mo powers. And now charge up the gun. And blind him. And just keep charging up. Oh, yeah. Now this... This is doing the job. Right flipping here. Down you go too. Okay. I'm pretty happy with all of this. Screw you. Oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah. This is doing the job. Now unfortunately, yeah. Your medic's dead. But ooh. Trauma kit and euthanasia kit. But ooh, hang on. When you say euthanasia kit, that's actually a gun. That's just a really fancy name for a gun. Only level 14 though, so yeah, we won't really be needing that. Now, head straight back and heal those guys up, just in case going in the printer leads to them dying or something. Here you go, one trauma kit. Any luck out there? Yep, got it for you right here, though your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks, we'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Alright, job done there. Any chance you've got anything to say, by the way? Nope, nothing at all. So, uh, now we've got to repair the printing press and uh, possibly the creatures inside will have respawned. But, we took them out last time and we're a lot stronger now. Or maybe not. The corpses are still here. Feels to me like actually we are in good shape. Marvellous. So those guys have already been taken care of. And yeah, now that terminal upstairs makes sense because last time I came here wasn't anything I could do. So, uh, let's see what it does these days. Install those rollers. Absolutely marvellous. And it's been repaired. Good. Nice and fast as we came here before. Also, thank you for the reminder that UDL stands for Universal Defense Logistics. I did forget that last time. And the van noise have disappeared too, so I'm guessing they've made it home safely. Beautiful. Now, back upstairs for another conveniently timed argument, I'm guessing. If you'll just listen. No. No more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Okay, the printing press is fine, but I want to know more about what you were just discussing, because this all sounds like it's escalating very, very quickly indeed. And yeah, if there are gunships... Didn't stop me landing. I didn't see any sign of it. They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. Okay, well, you were the one who were just saying you declared war on Stella Bay. Not that the board would defend Stella Bay unless... Oh. Maybe they would. Yeah, I kind of helped Stella Bay get back on the board, potentially at least. So, uh, my bad. Though, actually, if there are gunships... They might not be coming for you. They might be coming for Stella Bay. Again, my fault. In general, I've made a lot of probably terrible decisions. So, yeah, let's get to what you're talking about, because that's way more important than the printing press. We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stella Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. No, 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 no. They're a good society, all right? I've put a lot of time and effort into that place. You are not murdering them all. And, uh, yeah, they are doing better than you. That's definitely true. Uh, please don't attack the city. Yes, I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. He was cooperating until earlier today. All right, this is the first day of him not cooperating after years of cooperating. You are massively overreacting. This is very, very desperate and foolish. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. 
Well then send me to Fallbrook. We've got another society just like two minutes up the road. I can go and speak to Catherine there. We can work something out. You are not wiping out Flipping Stella Bay. If you try, I will stop you. Anyway, printing press at the bare minimum is clear. Let's move this conversation on quickly before you guys do something stupid. Excellent. Did you find the Viennois? Yeah, not only that, I saved them and the guys with them. They're all fine. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Okay, I want a word with you too. A word about how you are not blowing up Stella Bay. I like Stella Bay. I've got friends there. Also, I've got some things to look at here, which is I'm pretty sure you guys gave me some new armor. So we've got ourselves... Oh, it's kind of terrible, to be honest. I mean, it does look pretty badass. I do rather like your style of armor. The orange lining in particular is pretty nice, but... Yeah, that's that's very low level. That's not spectacular at all. And melee skills isn't great either. You did give me this, level level 12. Why would you have given me level 12 armor game? You know what level I am. Level up the loot accordingly. Right, we need to de-escalate this situation. Put on the hat. I like to think, by the way, that the reason the hat makes me better at speaking is because if anyone's thinking about disagreeing with me, I basically tell them the story of how I got the hat. Ah, yes, and skills and perks too. So, how are we doing on sneak? That's at 80. Would not mind that being at 100. That is definitely the case. Lockpick is now at 63, which is pretty solid. Medical could be got up to 60. Science is already 60. Engineering 60 is... Ah, pristine. Increases value and durability, but doesn't do additional damage or anything. So that's okay, but I could do without. What is the priority for the minute? The thing is, by boosting long guns further, I'm not actually increasing the amount of damage that they do. I'm increasing the crit chance and I'm increasing the long gun sway. But given I'm mainly doing sniping and headshots, I get the crits reliably anyway. So... Uh, I feel like boosting long guns much further isn't doing me much good unless I get it up to 100. So uh, I'm better off going for some of the support skills. And yeah, at this point I feel like sneak 100 is the right way to go. So I'm going to whack that right up and we're going to get that up to 100. We're going to get 50% armor reduction on sneak attacks. Now for the perk. Penetrating shots is very, very tempting indeed because uh, seeing that up with a shotgun... And yeah, basically I can just get every enemy minus 10 armor very, very easily indeed. Though, minus 10. I mean, my companions very easily have 100. So if I'm going up against something tough, 10 isn't really that much, to be honest. I feel like don't go dying on me is more important. Because then, yeah, I can actually revive companions. It's with a massive cooldown. But in an emergency, that will be very useful indeed. So let's get the companions back up on their feet. Now, Zora. Are you going to call off this stupid plan to attack Stella Bay, or do I need to burn your entire town to the ground? Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? You're talking about the massacre. Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned. But nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby rap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Okay, so why exactly do you want me to go and check this out? And why is it a big secret? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. Okay, so 
Why the importance? Why now? It sounds like you're gearing up for a stupid war, so uh, why are you fussed with, yeah, some old ruins? I surely do. But it's not far, and if they died in there, they died with their munitions. We'll need them. Besides, if it's filled with valuables from the aristocrats who lived here, we can pawn them off on sublight and get ourselves ahead on our food budget. Fair enough. I do like the fact that Zora is so very, very practical. And, uh, yeah, where's the Amber Heights gate? Because I've seen a few gates I can't open. Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is... If this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain. All that blood is on their hands. Oh. So it's gonna either be Graham or Sanjar, I'm just not sure which. Here we go, abandoned relay station. I already cleared that out, in fact. I did think there were a lot of mantasaurs around there. So yeah, should already be empty. Better double check from the hillside, though. Has any of this respawned? All looks pretty peaceful to me. I think we're safe to just go straight on in. And as I expected, shove in the keys, use the thing, enter the code, diddly diddly dee. Right, let's see what we got going on in here and aha. It's not actually a separate dungeon, it's just this area. In fact, it's actually just one room and a whole bunch of ammo too. Now, technically, I was asked to bring this ammo back to them. I won't be doing that, by the way, I'll just be having this for myself. Oh, and here's fun. We got ourselves a special eye patch here. Sneak attack damage plus 10%. Okay, I'll definitely be having some of that. And on top of that, that's a bit underwhelming. We'll just break that one down. But yeah, some sublight thug. But now I can get my sneak attacks up. Though admittedly, hang on, hang on, hang on. My existing armor gives me 10% down during a sneak attack. That's 10% damage up, but this thing's actually got some decent armor on it. So, uh, probably, I may as well just stick with this. Though, I do like the eye patch. The eye patch is good, but then again, uh, yeah, I'm not sure which is actually better out of 10% uh, damage up or 10% armor down. Presumably, they'd be the same or just about the same, but I need to think about the numbers harder before I can say for certain. Right, so we've got a giant pile of money... Just scattered on the ground. Uh, yeah, huge amounts of money, in fact. So just crack all this open. Even flipping more to go with even more money. And uh, an old data cartridge. But, yeah, says there'll be a miracle if you can get anything off it. But, better give it to Zora anyway. While we're here, though, yeah, terminal might tell us more. Nothing too dramatic, really. It's a relay station. So, yeah, its purpose was to take information from Devil's Peak, passed on elsewhere. Not too surprising. And one place I haven't been to yet, Aurora Ridge. So I'm guessing we'll be going there sooner rather than later. And also, watch out for the caverns, uh, some form of giant monster. And one manual note, gonna die for this damn fool errand, I know it. He said Amber Heights was gonna have more bits than we can spend, uh, but those suited morons up and spent it all for us. Uh, books and vases and pretty shit. You can't eat a fucking book. Look at us now, of all the closets to coop up in and lick our wounds, we had to choose the one that's set to lock itself up. Feel like a marauder, digging at the walls like this, but we gotta get out before we starve. It ain't possible, but Nelson over there's trying to keep our spirits up, and I don't got the energy to fight him on it. Screw that Bryant fella, eyes bigger than his fucking stomach. That's Graham. Graham Bryant. So, okay... Graham knew somebody who made a note, but was this someone who came before, or was this the pirates, or... Okay, I feel like, yeah, if it's now Sanjar or Graham, it was Graham. But why would Graham screw over his own people and his own society? Okay, here you go, and hopefully, you can make some sense of this. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait... This... this one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... a letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. But why? Why would he have done that? Yeah. He did. It really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? 
Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Ah, the executives that lived there. He hated the corporation so much, he was happy to just give the gate codes to pirates to get them to murder the executives. As long as it was the executives, uh, he was happy for them to die. Which, I guess, you know, Zora, you're not in a great position to call him out on, because uh, you're actually, you know, 100% ready to murder literally everyone in Stellar Bay. Okay, so no one else has got anything to do for the time being over in Amber, so that's all done there for the time being. So, uh, Fulbrook, time to go and visit these guys. But, first there's a very, very tiny quest I didn't even realise was a quest. So, I was speaking to the drug dealer back in Stella Bay, and he was talking about Mr. Pickett, who Parvati recognised. It was the person who came over here to try and catch a Manti Queen for that museum. But what I didn't realise is, that actually began a quest. So, uh, apparently Mr. Pickett is uh, over here, trying to track down a Manti Queen. Probably meaning there's a Manti Queen over here. So let's go and murder that Manti Queen and find Mr. Pickett's corpse, because... Uh, I'm guessing it's a flipping corpse, and the answer is, yes, would you believe there was a Manti Queen and a corpse? So I know Plasma's not the best against these things, but it's not terrible, and you know what? It's actually enough to pretty much finish them in two flipping turns, so that's all absolutely fine. Oh yeah, very, very dead. It doesn't even matter that Plasma's not that effective against these guys. This gun is seriously packing some hardcore heat. And all I found is Mr. Pickett's journal inside this creature's stomach. Which next time I'm passing through Stella Bay, I will give back to... Uh-oh. I may have just accidentally woken up some things. Not many things, mind. And, uh, right, soldier. And uh, creature. And mantapillar. And did you just actually take that in the face? Well done. Right, so you're going to die at this point. Good, good, good. Yes, we are now cutting through mantasaurs. Uh, nice and easy. Okay. Over to Fallbrook, we'll see what's going on there. Because most importantly, yes, we have an appointment with Catherine. Less of an appointment than I was expecting, though. I was supposed to be meeting with her to, yeah, find that secret lab. But then I sort of found it by myself. So, yeah, it should be all A-okay. Though, yes, I'm guessing someone in this town is going to have a quest for me to go and visit the factory down the road. Because otherwise, uh, it's just sort of uh, there. And I'm guessing it's not just sort of there. Somebody is going to have some reason to go and explore it. And here we go. Fallbrook, so uh, pretty small, unless, of course, ah, it goes into the caves. All right, this is actually, yeah, a pretty big place. Hello there, Mortimer. From the way you're positioned, I'm feeling like you're the welcome person. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Okay, Mortimer, just treat me like I'm a total idiot. Just give me the basic where am I, what is this place? Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Accepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Ah, hang on. So, is the factory not actually abandoned and just being run by robots? Is it actually your factory you're still actually trading from? Because uh, that would make a bit of sense, because you guys are from Sublight. And you guys like doing all sorts of slightly dodgy things under the table. And you know what? I'm just going to say yes. Well, we like quick on the draw types like you. Saloon is straight back and to the right. Once you're feeling sated, you're welcome to a private cabin. Only two fifty a night. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. She's the one who runs this racket. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Okay, so that sounds a bit expensive for a cabin, but whatever. Yeah, I need to find Catherine. Lilia sent me. You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. And calm down. Just tell me where she is. She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, watch my mouth around her, got it. And yes, indeed, this place goes right into the cave system, which is pretty darn cool, and potentially down into the water as well. So, all right, let's see what we got. Well, we've got a sublight building here, but this isn't Catherine. This here is Nelson Mason. 
Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh... You don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. Oh, go on then. Try and screw me over if you want. But before we do this, I'm going to say I'm actually here on official business from your boss. I, I, why, well, I, well, I certainly hope you're not insinuating the problem is me. I mean, that would be preposterous. I never do anything under the table that uh, Miss Mallon ain't aware of. If there's any issue, really, you should talk to her. <laughs> She's straight back in Malin's house of hospitality. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, let's get back to that favour. Now we understand how the power dynamic between us is working, alright, friend? Oh, right. Well, I mean, if you're interested. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Okay, so... That is not a genius idea, to be perfectly honest. Yes, lie one, that's a stroke of sheer brilliance. And how do you plan to control these sprats? See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Oh, I'm going to be wanting... Oh, persuade a hundred for 35 and a sample. Dear, oh dear, and no middle ground either. You know what? Sure, why not? Where did you release these sprats? I run my sprat carriers back and forth through the shipping tunnels near the waterfall. I ought to check there first. Good luck. And uh, don't get any ideas about pilfering the drugs for yourself. That does remind me, I found a secret smuggling tunnel that I completely forgot to actually investigate under the bridge. I should go and check that out, assuming it's not the exact tunnel you're talking about. Well, they get me the sublight storage key at least, so I can get somewhere, but yeah, hang on, where are these tunnels? Ah, yes indeed, round the corner right here, so hang on, before we get to that, I'm gonna go check out that smuggler's tunnel I found before I forget about it again. Here we go, so just under the bridge, over here. And we got ourselves a giant pile of mines and whatnot. Don't ever like a little pistol with me, but screw it. We'll just start blowing things up that way. Now. Whoa. I'm hearing bug noises. And can I... Where are they? No, those aren't bug noises. Those are electric noises. The question is, can I disable these? Or do I need to, like, shoot them? Okay. That doesn't do the job. Can I just sneak under them? Yes, I can just sneak under those. Fine. Watch out for mines, though. And, yeah, just keep on keeping on. And up. Okay, I'm slightly concussed. I'm sure it's fine. Let's just take out the rest of those mines while I see them. Okay, so the noise is just sprats, but they're the friendly sort, not the problematic sort. Now, can I squeeze into that? Yes, I Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's all absolutely fine. Next one, I probably want to jump over and... Excuse me. I could really do with a more accurate pistol. And, uh, for some reason, that actually took out laser thing. Possibly, yeah, the explosion just caught one of the transmitters. Now, I'm not seeing much else going on in here. Just going to take out all of these lovely mines. Oh, watch out. Not too close mines. Now, this here... This looks like a good sort of secret smuggler's hall and- Oh! Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Because they were incredibly easy to get past. Also, I got moves. Just remember, I still got bullets. In case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? Honestly, I was just here to rob the place, but I'd be happy to heal you up first if we get you out of here so I can rob the place without violence. 
That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. And yeah, why are you down here? What's with the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Yeah, but what's actually going on here? Who are you smuggling to or from? Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Okay, so how did you end up wounded while you alone diddly diddly d? Yeah, didn't turn out well. Yeah. I guess the Marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. Aha, makes sense. So, uh, the Marauders are the facility just west of here. Sounds right. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Aha, it's not their factory. It's a factory run by Marauders, apparently. Yeah, he's got to be talking about this factory right here because the abandoned safe house we've been to, that's related to Ash's Quest. Relay Station, that's not related to that either. Must be this place is being run by Marauders, which means it's totally okay to just go in and murder everyone inside. Marvellous. Now, any chance you would mind if I just did a bit of... No? He doesn't seem to have noticed that. I'll be having all of those lovely bits. Thank you. Then again, plenty of this is not stealing. So presumably he feels pretty good about me because, yeah, I healed him up. So that's just flipping lovely. Right, so anything deeper in the cave by any chance? Nope, nothing major, just a handful more boxes. Right, let's be on our way in that case. Here we go, mysterious factory, lots of robots. But, 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 waterfall in a video game means that obviously we're going to go check this out because uh, Tenquid says uh, there's got to be something here. Yep, CMP factory sewer entrance, spot on. Boom, one secret door, 35 lockpick gets me right in there. Be flipping beautiful. Let's just bypass the front door knocks we need to, because we could easily blow it apart, but because it's badass, damn it. Alright, keep the shotgun out for now, because, oh, we got trouble in here, but yeah. If it's what I'm expecting, based on what I was told, uh, we should be dealing with uh, Marauders. Restricted area, I'm going to be needing uh, an ID, and we've got, ooh, uh, we've got sissy pigs eating and worms at the back and generally not nice things okay but yeah the game's letting me know if i did have what's going on here by the way let's just get up top let's just get nice and up top here yeah everybody stay nice and hidden and if we can we're just gonna yeah there's someone over there someone over there too oh robots okay I'm not sure we actually need to use this thing. This feels like overkill. Hello. Let's just get over here. Nearby to my robot friend. And he's becoming aware of me. And boom. Dead. And oh. Hello. Who are, who are you? You're a factory employee. Oh. um, Should, should we be concerned about him? Should I maybe not have started firing on the... On the robots. Like, if I hadn't started firing on the... Okay, I feel like people have started firing at this point. I was told we were looking at marauders. Were we not looking at marauders? There's... What the... Corporate... Oh! This is... This is corporate. This is... Okay. Well, technically, we've... Oh, dear. Um... So, I might just... Might... Actually, at this point, uh, reload. Because I didn't realise there was actually, like, you know, a flipping proper faction with a reputation here. That was a mild oversight on my part. Okay, we're apparently doing this sneaky-like. We need to find ourselves uh, an ID card. And uh, we need to figure out what's going on. Oh, yeah. Corporates. Right, so this is not Marauders. I think I might be in the wrong factory here. Now, the question is, if I'm able to sneak my way into the public area... Yeah, that's the toilets right there. Hang on, check the map here. Check the flipping map. Yeah. If I'm able to just sneak my way to uh, 
the public area, then are we potentially in good shape too? Yeah, that's an employee right there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to get an ID. Now, I can't murder the person in the toilets. That would be bad. So I just need to... Maybe I should just walk in the front door. If there's a public area, I probably should just, you know, walk in the front door. That strikes me as a good, sensible idea. Then again, hang on. When it says corporate, the whole point is uh, there's no corporate on this world. There's not supposed to be a corporate on this world. That was like the entire point of this world. Like it was a major conspiracy and plot point that there weren't corporate entities on this world. Yet there's a factory full of corporate troopers. Which corporates? Okay, just sneaky roundy. Then wait for that robot to naff off up in that direction. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to get round here and round here and straight back out of here and out of the restricted area. And now, now apparently, presumably, are we cool? Am I allowed to be here? Okay, this must be the front door. So, all right then, this is, this is peculiar. So, yeah, work bench, ammo, etc. If anybody sees me, like I open this door right here, no, I'm not allowed to go in that way. So that way was, yeah, the way you actually get in if you don't go in via the secret sewer entrance. That's back outside to where the robots are, presumably. So, okay, this is all a bit on the unusual side. Where's that robot right now? Doesn't seem to be around here. That's just a bit cartridge. I need to get myself. Yeah, the things I need here. Bit cartridges, music boxes. No, 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 I don't need any of that. Any chance I can use this thing to print myself a thing? Aha, the factory's gone rogue. So these are former corporates left behind when the corporations pulled out, but they just sort of kept running the place anyway. Gotcha. Okay, let's try this again and make this work here. What I've done is I've checked my weapons uh, for which has uh, the lowest range at which you're going to hear it. And it's this thing. So uh, if I just wait for the robot to naff off to the very far side of the room, then take out the guy in the toilet, might I be able to get away with assassinating the toilet guy without anyone else knowing? So I think he's at the far end of his loop right now. Good. Now get over here and finish you off. Nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick. Guys, no, guys, don't do anything, guys, don't do a thing. Don't do a thing. That's right. That's right. And now, now we're all dressed appropriately. So we had to kill one person, but nobody else knows about it. Good. Good, 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 and more good. So... Now, we've got the ability to just walk in front of the robots. Okay, now I'm happy. Now I'm very happy indeed. Just walk around. Don't do anything too suspicious. Be aware that there is... Yeah, this is beyond... There we go. So that lets me reactivate all of that good stuff. Okay, so now, now we can go wherever the hell we want. Well, within reason, you know. And anything good here? Doesn't look like it to me. Now, check all the systems in case there's anything useful we can do here. So, the king would like to remind you that terminal sessions are recorded with corresponding timestamps. So, whoever's running this place now, they refer to themselves as the king. From A. Rose to F. Patterson, factories back online, feels strange, not only did I never think I'd stoop to this sort of work, but they gave me your place on the line, wish you could have waited just for a little while, but that's fine, me and Cousin Isaac are right as rain we are, I never met a man so eccentric as the factory's new owner Clive, I'm guessing that's the man who insists on being called the king. And people hate working for the king, but... I know what happened to them fellas who got pink slips. Won't go out like that. Not me. Not on account of Slaughterhouse Clive. Right. So, I'm guessing people are being fed to the sisty pigs, and that's what makes the meat so tasty. And on a different system, I can use my intelligence to edit the financial reports. 
I don't know why I did that. I just felt like doing it. So, okay. That's not that intelligent. I was just basically sabotaging someone's Excel spreadsheet, which quite frankly feels mean. Right, just freshened up the force field. Uh, let's make this happen here. So, uh, my force field's in good shape for the moment. Let's just head downstairs. Uh, and yeah, for the time being at least, I'm in good shape. Grab. I don't need that. That's not very good at all. Yeah, I'm going to run out of everything long before... I actually get to the far side of the factory. But I know I can refresh it by passing a simple speech check. And hang on, just make sure I'm wearing the right hat right now. Yes, put on my talking hat. And walk straight past this individual before they get too suspicious. And now, yes, I'm going to be... Oh, someone's going to be suspicious of me. I need to get spotted by... A human rather than a robot, right? I'd rather be spotted by a human because a human will come up to me and say, Hey, what's what's all this nonsense? And that, that'll be good. Except, hang on, I'm just going to hide down over here because I can just... I can just hide using... Aha, using the sissy pigs. And, oh, 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 hang on, you just turned around for a second. No, no, naff off. Naff off in that direction, please. And then I just hide around the corner over here. Okay, so we're stealthing on this occasion. Okay, we're stealthing with a bit of backup disguising. Everything's under control. And, yep, help myself to all of this stuff. I mean, I assume I'm here to recover the stuff that was mentioned by the smuggler. Not through there. No, no, no. Go upstairs. Definitely head upstairs and see what we can do. Get to a control room or something. Ideally find a public area, so yeah, I can refresh my disguise. That'd be marvellous, and aha, this looks good. That looks less good, that looks like, ah, that's sealed anyway, fine. Okay, what do we need to do in here? Don't need any of that business. Here we go, one terminal, pink slip protocol on Sentry Automax. Now, we don't know what that means, but we do know pink slip means bad. Potentially, yeah, if pink slip for people means being killed, pink slip for robots maybe means self-destruct. Who knows? Here we go. I was saying how it irks me when others filch my lunch. Pea-free butter and purple berry jelly, I'll have you know. Not Boston for good reason. And while they're gorging, they got the nerve to fart and waggle their middle fingers at me from the factory floor. Because they know I know I can't go down there till the shift break. By then it's too late. Tell you what though, I'm tempted, I'm tempted all right, to use the Sentry Automax new pink slip protocol to terminate each and every one. Ah, so pink slip not for the Sentry bots, pink slip as in give authorization for the robots to give the humans a pink slip, which means murder. Which I could do very easily, but do I want to? Also, call an elevator. Okay, apparently I can call an elevator to the first level. Not sure why I'd want to do that. And also, which corporation are we working with right now? I don't know whether I should really murder these people. Hang on, we've also got, yeah, this thing right here. Intercom. Attention, everyone. I have an important announcement of some description. Well, what's going on? The answer is, uh, the king would like to invite you for dinner. Whatever that means precisely. Like I don't know what that means. Not only no, but void no. I quit. And he can keep my final paycheck. Got it. Heads down. Alright, so... Does that mean everybody's leaving the factory floor? Yes, that means that everybody's walking out because they know that means uh, the king has decided to eat them or feed them to the pigs or something, something, something. So as a result of that... I've just basically got rid of the entire workforce. Beautiful. And I did it without killing anybody, and that's going to make it much easier to sneak through this area. Love it. So let's not activate pink slip protocol just yet. No reason to now. I've got rid of all the people. Here we go. We can now open up this big gate here. There's going to be a lot fewer robots dotted about. All right, so we got you right there. We can just hide from these robots. Line of sight in this game tends to be uh, pretty generous, all things considered. And uh, I could use that to get up top. 
or just find the nearest ladder. It doesn't really matter. Or I could just take out a single robot. If it's just one on his own, the others almost certainly wouldn't hear. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to be nice and I'm going to try and spare the robots if I can. So, oh, more over there. Let's just get up top as fast as we can here. If we can do that. I'm not sure how good their vertical vision is, but up to here. Up to here. And this feels like that worked pretty well, actually. Good. Now, there's a terminal up here, too. Any chance? Increased production rate by 200%. Yes, I am going to engineer that. And I don't know what that did, but probably it was good. All right, that was probably good for reasons. Now, I do see myself, yeah, some pipes up here. Sneak around the top of the building. And then we've got ourselves, yeah, the ability to hack that open. No problem whatsoever. Now, who is the king? Where is the king? Oh. Hello, Clive. Now, can we have a nice chat with you? Because... It sounds like you've gone a bit on the mad side, actually, yes, but maybe, maybe we can have, well, actually not, before we discuss anything with him, let's just figure out what's going on in his personal system. Nope, he's deleted all of that, and I think I can guess why. Here's interesting, and the king, he may not have been with me from the beginning, but he was the first to arrive, he kept me from being alone, that is for true, don't think I could forget nor escape that fact. So, he's not the king. The king is uh, somebody else. We shall tell them to call the king by his rightful moniker and do it properly. None this slaughterhouse Clive pig shit or I'll show them a slaughter they won't ever forget. Okay, so yes, he's he's definitely lost it a little bit. He's uh, definitely not doing so hot. And uh, there's a lift. Okay, so we got the lift right there. Lovely. And he's just chilling out by himself. That's cool. Restricted access. And I'll tell you what, just pull a quick lever. Does that... Does that open that? That's... Oh! Yes, yes it does. Right, okay, elevators. Clive, me and you need to have a nice chat. Whoa now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm in the wrong factory. I was just here to pick up some supplies some marauders stole. But apparently you're like a corporate operation or something, something, something. And, um, yeah, you've got a lot of blood on your shirt, by the way. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing sometimes. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody Borstwurst. Oh, he's even more of an obvious murderer than the family of terribly suspicious cannibals were. And yeah, I'm guessing that's not from a sissy peg. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of Borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the sissy pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Is he looking at me? Oh, law. He is absolutely surely giving me the complete creeps. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Okay, so, yeah, blind taste test in the other room or something. Indeed it is. Did you partake of the experiment? I would like to hear your assessment of the quality of each sample, if so. Ooh, this sounds fun. Just give me two minutes, I'll go do that. Here we go, Boston Beans. So... We have got Special Borst A, Special Borst B, and Special Borst C. No samples, though. Right, so, blue, red, and green. A can of Borst and baked beans, but something's different. It is a poison. 
and also reduces personality attributes. And is that true for all of them? Yes, they're all poison. So, I know they're poison because I just know my inventory screen said so. When we say poison, how much of a poison are we talking about here? And the answer is... Yep, yeah, I'm taking a bit of damage, but honestly... Not too much. Yeah, I can easily outheal that. That's absolutely fine. So we'll just be using that. And in fact, you know what? We'll try them both at the same time. So, I'm going to be honest. All three were a bit on the poisony side. Not enough to, like, kill me or anything. It was really just a very mild inconvenience. But, um, I've done the taste test. They were all terrible. So, I have indeed sampled all three flavours. Marvellous. Now to your predilection, which of the sample cans spurred your appetite for more? Blue, red, or green? Which can had the smoothest texture and the least? Which had the most pungent taste? Okay, so I'm gonna go for- wait, hang on. Smoothest texture, least, most pungent taste. But you asked two questions before that point, didn't you? Uh, hang on, so uh, smoothest texture, least... Which was the best for- Oh, I just said red was the best for making me want more and like best flavour and whatever. But that's not an option because question one is either blue or green. So, uh, which had the most pungent taste? I'm going to say red. Red had the most pungent taste. I'm going to just say it random. Interesting. Peculiar even. Now, which one contained the human remains? I'm going to say... Yeah, red. It was full of human -y goodness. And you said it was the one that most greatly increased your appetite for more. Now that is disturbing. I do thank you for participating, though. I believe I must adjust the ratio before the next sampling. Okay, so I should probably go at this point. Okay, no one's got anything to say about this incredibly messed up scenario. Good, good. Uh, well, I mean, do we want to kill him? Is there any reason to kill him? I mean, he is a cannibal. That's definitely true. Uh, so I'm feeling like that's... Yeah, I'm feeling like that will be the right thing to do. But we're going to make it nice and quick, all right? It's going to be really, really quick. So we're just going to just, you know, charge that up. And there we go. He's He took that like a flipping champ, didn't he? Right, one more right at the arse. Okay, now, now he's dead. And my reputation with the factory has... Uh, definitely gone down. I feel like that was the right thing to do. Now, slight issue. Are you guys about to cause trouble for me? And the answer is... No, actually. They seem pretty bloody chill. Marvellous. So, that was the terrifying cannibal factor. Or rather, not really. Like, one step removed from cannibal. So, uh, the pigs were fed people, then we ate the pigs. So, uh, it's not like really cannibalism if you think about it. While we're in this part of the world, though, yeah, just up the road uh, from where I am, uh, there's the grave of the first of Nyoka's friends. So, uh, go on then. I'm happy to go and pay them a bit of a visit while we're in the neighbourhood. Uh, and oh, nothing too major. One man saw drone, and you'll go down no trouble whatsoever. And excuse me, no you flippin' don't. No, you flipping don't, man to pillar. Lovely. Finish him off. Job done. Yeah, the plasma weaponry is doing the job very well. Nothing more in this part of the world, best as I can tell. Straight over to Hazer's grave. Aha. Just a handful of big ones. But honestly, it's just a Colossus. Which is not the worst thing in the world at all, really. So he's already mostly dead. And one more big one should take care of you. Yep, two for the price of one there, I believe. So, here we go. Grave right here. Do not dig it up. Just examine it and be respectful. So, buried near the surface of Hayes' grave is a small lockbox. Its hinge is rusted through and its wood almost completely rotten. It nearly falls apart in your hands. But in it, you manage to recover a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters Charon. Possibly referring to the old idea of the Greek ferryman. So, okay. That's one. But I know there's more to it than that. Here, have the medallion. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. 
Aha, so we can't actually go any further with her personal quest until we've gone and found Hiram. And why do we need their help? Because I feel like we can actually handle Mancy Queens pretty easily. Like, we've taken out ten or so so far this week. The Queen ain't just gonna come out on her own. She'll have dug tunnels into the mountain. I've got theories about how to lure her out, but Anders would know for sure. Aha, it's not about killing her, it's about getting access to her. Gotcha. So yeah, that's all we got here for the time being, but we're also very close by to the most crucial thing of all, which is, don't bite the sun, the sweetheart cakes. We must be only just around the flipping corner from them. Yes, 200 odd meters from the other factory. Parvati, we are going to get you the most wonderful date in the world in Hello over there. Yeah, we got ourselves a... Oh, that's a Mega Manti Queen. Now... I got nothing against fighting Manti Queens, but Mega Manti Queens might be... That might be a bit ambitious. We're just going to circle around the Mega Manti Queen. All right, Manti Queens tend to be a little bit on the tough side already. So how about we give the Mega... Oh, hello. Right, we just got a couple of Marauders here. Well, that's much easier to take care of, to be perfectly honest. And... Boom. And more of them, please. Just hold... Okay, you're in the way right now. Boom. And keep charging up. And oh my goodness. Boom goes the headshot. Very literally. And you can go down as well. How are we doing? Any more over there? Yeah, maybe like one more. I'm going to go over to something else. We don't need any of this. And nope, you're already dead. You don't need to be lifted up. As hilarious as that is. Right. So everybody's dead. Good, good, good. Rizzo's Cascadia. How are we going to get in? Because uh, it looks locked. And I need 90 lockpick to get inside. Unless, of course, I'm willing to go around here. I'm guessing uh, there's another way in. Right, just sneak in. There we go. Just a nice little back way in over here. And now, excuse me. There's a mine there. But we've accidentally, we might have accidentally done something good, actually. And boom, 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 boom. Screw you. Right, so he's dead. Okay, there's more of them yet, mind. And lay down some fire as far as you can. Just get over there and start murdering. Seems to be able to just go through walls. Yeah, special attacks seemingly just can't miss, which is quite useful. I'm still a bit on the concussed side. There's, there's someone up there, is there? I think there's someone up there. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Hang on, guys. Guys, I've got just the special tool for this. And now he can just go into flipping space. Yeah, that works pretty well, actually, affected by a science weapon. I wish it lasted a bit longer, though. That'd be good. Screw you. Keep screwing you. There we go. He'll explode in a second. And uh, we got more trouble yet. This place is uh, well occupied by marauders. Uh, that's fine, mind. I think we can handle this. Probably the shotgun's not the best option. Excuse me. Excuse flipping me. You're about to explode, by the way. Yeah, I thought you might be about to explode. You're dead, right? Yes, you're definitely dead. Who else is there? Oh, we got a scrap mechanical coming in. Right, I'm going to take out the vandal. And I ran out of things at just the wrong time. Okay, get out the mega gun. Where'd the big robot go? Where's the big... Is he behind me? He's probably behind me, isn't he? No, heal up, everybody. Heal up, Nioka. Could do with Nioka being in good shape. Where is that? The robot is over there. I see the robot. And screw you. And that was the wrong gun, John. Worked, though. Uh, okay. How are we getting on? And permanent concussion. Okay. Permanent minus one to mind. No. No, I do not accept permanent minus one to mind. And apparently, some people over there haven't realised what's going on yet, which is, quite frankly, amazing. I'm not sure how you would not have realised that, but all right, fine. What have ya? There was definitely someone over here, wasn't there? Yes, yes, there was. Right, well, he can just explode at this point. I think there's someone up top there. Parvati, do you want to get him? Do you want to just, like, teleport up top and just hit that guy with a big hammer? Yep! Parvati can just teleport up onto a flipping ledge. I love it. And hopefully she's going to do okay against that uh, other person. Yes, I think Parvati did just fine with the gun I gave her. Beautiful. So we also got... I swear I just saw somewhere over there. Okay. 
I'll gladly uh, hack that, by the way. Break some of this down and help myself for the rest. Because, yeah, turn my back on Parvati. She'll probably teleport down to me. Because companions, yeah, they do do that. Okay, anyone else here? Definitely someone at all. There's... Oh! Hello! Sorry! Didn't see you there because I was looking further away. But you are indeed standing right there, you stupid loser. How about we just go over to the... Uh, the shotgun. Need some repairs sooner or later, but I think it's doing okay for the moment. That's sealed. Where are we? Where are we? Hello. Yeah, so you guys are just terrible at, like, spotting me, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, just going around dealing with the buildings one by one. We've got a note here. Zora was right. There are monsters here. We need to get out if we want to live. So something was here, like they were expected to be people. They were people once, I don't know what they are now. Zora. And then, crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate. 2613. Aha! I'm guessing that there is going to be what we use to open up the shortcut back to Cascadia. Here we go, there's a terminal right here. Enter the access code and... With that, we've got access to the bridge. A couple of mechanical guardians here, but that doesn't really worry me. I'm guessing they're going to be trouble mind. Uh, any chance you guys just want to be chill? Oh, there's flipping mines here. Right, um, um, no, screw you. Screw you. And screw you as well. Right, just take them out nice and easy. Got sprayed by... Who on earth sprayed me with caustic? I'm not sure, but I've been sprayed with caustic by somebody. Actually, weirdly, this gate is still locked. So what was the point of... Okay. I'm not sure what the point of opening that gate was. Well, there is actually a terminal here. Could we use this one too? Aha! Open the northern gate. There we go. So now we can get backwards and forwards uh, nice and easily. Admittedly, we could have just, you know, fast travelled, because there's fast travel points close by to either of them, but screw it, now we have an official way of doing it. Also, we've got ourselves some Marauder Thugs here, which I'm just going to shoot while they randomly float up into the air. Okay, that's, that's good stuff. That's good stuff, right? Oh, no, 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 actually, you know what, screw it. How about we just shoot you with, like, you know, shotguns? I feel like that's going to work too. Screw you, you stupid losers. Yes, one right in the head, one more just to be sure. Keep on shooting, job done. Okay, crack open the door upstairs. That gets me. Rizzo's, together with a Workshop. Everybody likes a Workshop. That's some free XP just for discovering that. You guys were taking out all of this business. That's all fine. Lovely, gaudy, coloured mechanical centres. Pretty sure everyone's already dead, so we don't just sneak anymore. So that's all absolutely a-okay. Ooh, here's fun. I found the old executive review for Zora from before, you know, they went rogue and diddly diddly dee. A top-notch saw bones with a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate large amounts of detailed information to make quick decisions. Her competence and decisiveness have allowed her to restore more than a few limbs and digits lost to carelessness around the machinery. Recommend for employee of the month. Okay, so Zora, good egg, gotcha. In fact, I was just given the option to export that, so I'm guessing we're going to need that for something sooner or later. And despite all the faff about the factory, yeah, what I'm looking for apparently isn't in the factory at all. It's located... Ah, it was right next to a terminal I read earlier. One sweetheart cake. Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you ever seen? Yeah, they're also about 70 years old or thereabouts. Anyway, have the food. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste, but I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. I have literally given you solid gold power armor, Pavati. Really slim, sexy gold power armor. Okay, seriously. Do you need that or are you just putting off the date now? 
Maybe you're right, and I'm, I'm stalling a bit. But maybe I also need to, so as I can work up the courage. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium. Jollicker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Right, apparently we need to go to flipping Byzantium, the capital of the corporations we've declared war on, in order to buy Parvati a dress. You know what, that's fine. If she wants a big, pink, flumpy dress, I will get her the biggest, pinkest, flumpiest, meringiest dress you have ever seen. And I'm not going to point out how stupid this is. I'm just going to say, we'll get there when we get there. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. That casserole is already several days old, Parvati. It's going to be weeks before we get to the date. And speaking of companions, that reminds me. We finally made it to Fallbrook, and that's where Vic and Max said there was somebody who could speak French. So, uh, I guess, just this once, we'll bring him along. Sam, my vacuum tubes require evacuating. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. Thank you. And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to... that... Exactly. I haven't felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my subalternate auxiliary backup processor. Okay, so that's that's a thing that's happening on the ship right now. I'm just going to go and leave you two alone. Okay, Fallbrook, let's see what we need to get on with here. Well, we got ourselves a named person here. Hello there, Emmett. Oh, I beg your pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? Okay, no you're not. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. Okay, this is odd. I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus. So long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. I'm just going to leave you to whatever drugs you're on right now. That's gonna be great. So, into the cave system. Oh, this is a pretty town. In the caves, that's just lovely. Right, so apparently, the guy we're looking for, the scholar, is right here. This is Reginald stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Okay, so, uh, we got ourselves a note here. I can't believe I'm stuck in this law-forsaken town, but at least I think I may have found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel, on the riverbank outside of town, produce one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who'd pay something for the teeth. Right, so he's doing gold panning, right. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Alright, I guess we just go and find him in that case, can't be too far. In fact, it's actually within the town, it's just round the corner. Close by to, uh, yeah, where I was told the uh, the rats were, so... Alright, we'll come back to all the rest of this momentarily. Just need to uh, loop round to the back here. So, more vending machines. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if I just head down the river, should be fine to go this way. And here we go, Sprat Tunnels, and... Uh, Hello there. Are you by any chance the scholar we're after? Yes, you are. Marvelous. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Okay, so, you're really bringing down the tone of the adventure right now, Max, okay? We were having a lovely, whimsical time with Parvati, who's still here, fortunately, and hopefully she says something momentarily, but you just have to show up and start yelling about how miserable everything is. This is why you don't get to come on adventures. Look, calm down, I'm not having you being an asshole. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. So, maybe he didn't flipping know the book was in French. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? 
Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Right, just stop. We'll find the person, we'll translate the book, it's gonna be great. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Okay, we'll go there. In fact, I've been there before. Nice and easy, it'll take us seconds. I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. You know what? You can just go. I'll deal with Max. And if that hermit isn't there, we're coming back for you. There we go. Saved you a beating. Max, let's just go to Scylla and get your stupid quest over with. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Okay. That's good. That's very, very good. But why did you lie to me? You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. You can have it incredibly reluctantly, but I'm watching you. If you're a dick again, you're out. I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Ooh, that's interesting. I was just planning to nip straight over to Scylla, but apparently we've got a message. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. All right, that's interesting right there. Let's go and check that out because he gave me the magic bouncing bullet gun. Here we go, Orson Shaw. He was the guy in this building. Hello. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. And okay, what's the item of great value and how many people can I kill with it? Aha. I knew that it'd entice you to return to our dangerously unprofitable township. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti Nature, Anti-Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. I'm so glad I helped to this guy. And yeah, why me? The schematics you fetch for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti-Cleo R&D felt otherwise. Level 11, DPS 124. Okay, so that's... that's terrible. I mean, it's kind of fun that it, like, you know, does corrosive damage, I guess. Does it bounce like the previous one did? Yes, it does. It's still a bouncing gun, but now it's also corrosive on top. And it does have some fun colours, but honestly, it's gonna be so expensive to get it up to like level 25 or whatever. So probably we'll just put that away in my chest with other fun weapons we don't actually use for anything. Now, Scylla, Scylla, Scylla. And we're going over in that direction to the township, I'm guessing. Aha, 
I did pass a building in there that I had no way of getting into, so is that... No, that's not a robot, that's a barrel. Hopefully, the robots are still dead, so we should be able to just head straight over there. There we go, this door I saw before but couldn't open. Right, now that makes sense. Into the lodge we go. And this place is lovely, flowers and everything. Right, open all of this up, good few bits and pieces. Quickly, oh, that's sealed actually. Okay, hello there. Are you actually, you know, happy to have visitors? What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. To be honest, I'm just here to see whether or not you can speak French. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Okay, so what's going on here? Can you actually help? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Ooh, drug-fueled spirit voyage, marvelous. All right, head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. Okay, so... I would have thought this was just for Max, but apparently we're all going to be getting involved. Alright then, let's do some flipping drugs. Everything's going a bit wibbly. I'm guessing we're about to be going on a bit of a trip. Poor, poor Maximilian. Maximilian, why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? Mother, you're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? Y'all see these stars I'm seeing? Gosh, they're pretty. Like shimmers in the sea. Okay, so everything's going a bit wrong. And if she's just a hallucination, why can I see her too when I don't know what your mother looks like or what her name is? We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, uh perpetrated? Uh, I mean... We're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. I hope you'll pardon my interruption, but I think it's because he's unhappy with himself. So, okay, let's see what we got here. And yes, Vision Mom, can you give us some answers? And platitudes from a figment... <laughs> figment of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. The stories others sell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Stories are real. If they mean something, if they inspire you to kindness or, or action, but... 
Maybe Max's story about himself is all wrong, and that's why he's so unhappy. I love how Parvati's actually seeing more during Max's spirit vision than Max is himself, and uh, yeah, story blunts you to the truth. Seeing the truth is easier said than done. Yeah, I feel like Parvati's onto something here. Your story blinds you to the truth. You've been chasing this myth, trying to give your life purpose with it, when maybe you should have just, you know, done a bit of introspection. Would have been a lot faster and cheaper and all the rest of it. What the fuck are you talking about? Max, in your quest for answers, you've ended up doing drugs with a hermit on an asteroid. Do you think you're on the right path in your life right now? No. I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... I, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To obtain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan you slave away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Aha. Uh -huh. Now I'll admit, I'm starting to feel a lot more sympathy for Max now I understand where they're going with this. The reason he's obsessed with scientism and order is because uh, some terrible tragedy befell his family. And the only way he could make sense of it was to say it must have been part of a plan. So he spent his life trying to figure out what that plan was and rationalise his life that way. But yeah, he has to accept that sometimes there's just chaos. Sometimes stuff just happens for no reason. And then he created this entire persona of the ordered rational priest to try and, yeah, oh dear. Yeah, I see. So it's time to get over all of this, Max. It's definitely time to get over this. Max, I figured it out. You need to kill this guy now. Yes, that would work. It seems a little bit overdramatic, but it would speed things along. What are you talking about? He's an extremely unhealthy and untrue version of yourself. Just get rid of him. I can do that. Incoming! And okay, it was done in a single punch. Though I think possibly Parvati did it. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. And, uh, okay, did you see that or was that just me? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Everything is perfect. Okay, so... yeah. What's actually going on for you next? Have you accepted chaos? Are you actually basically a philosophist now? In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality, clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. Okay, so it seems like he's actually, you know, 
doing all right there. And uh, yeah, is this actually philosophism? And no, he's not willing to answer that. So, uh, 20,000 XP. And is the empty man done or... Yes, indeed it is. So I've got myself some cartridges and some XP and a nice little vessel. So I'm guessing that's just going inside Max's room. Also, how are you? Can I speak to you about what just happened? So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. And yes, indeed, let's go for the intelligence option. Existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. It looks like you learned something in there as well. And yeah, I already knew that. I was just having fun telling Max to murder a version of himself. Of course you were. And you know what? Let's just go. I feel like we're done, Max. All right, job flipping done. Okay, um, so I just came back on the ship to head back over to Monarch. Does anybody know why we've got woolly cows on board? Like, is this just an overt Firefly reference, or are they here for a reason? You know what, we'll figure that out next time, ladies and gentlemen, as we head back to Fallbrook, finally meet up with Catherine, and figure out what she wants us to do, because, yeah, feels like we're making very good progress here on Monarch, we're probably about ready to start looking at Devil's Peak. So, hopefully, that is coming up next time. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nut, and this has been The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.